Let's see one more question from linear differential equation with constant coefficient. Since all the focus is on the RHS, so look at the RHS. E power x into v. Did you remember that rule? Let's discuss that rule once more. So in case your Q, which is your RHS, is e power a x into v, where v is any function of x. Then what we do for finding the particular integral, which is one upon f of d, operating on RHS, so e power a x into v. We take this e power a x out, and in place of d, we write f of d plus a, and this will now operate on v. Again, the uh, remaining funda is same. If this denominator is anyway zero, then you multiply by x and proceed. So that will remain the same. But this is the basic concept. So first, we'll move ahead with complementary function. So convert it from d form to the m form. So m square minus four m plus three equals to zero. m square minus 3m minus m plus 3 equals to 0 so m m minus 3 minus 1 m minus 3 equals to 0 m minus 3 and m minus 1 equals to 0 from here you are getting m equals to 3 and 1 which are real and distinct so complementary function we can easily write at as c1 e power 3x Plus c two e power x, perfectly fine till now. Now, about the particular integral, which will be one upon f of d, operating on two x e power three x plus three e power three x cos two x, which is the entire numerator. Uh, Arche, sorry. Now let's uh, break this one upon d square minus four d plus three. Uh, what you do? Take two out because that is a constant. This will operate on e power three x into x. I can write this like this. Plus again in this also take three out and one upon d square minus four d plus three. Will operate on e power three x into cos two x. Now, what was the next thing? Take this out. So two e power three x, and here replace d by d plus three, because a is three here. So d plus three whole square minus four times d plus three plus three, and now this will operate on x plus. Again, take this out. So three e power three x, one upon. Again, replace d by d plus three. So d plus three the whole square minus four times d plus three and plus three will now operate on cos two x. Now calculations are same in both the denominator, so we can do it that once. D square plus nine uh, plus six D minus four D minus twelve plus three, operating on X. So let us simplify this. This will be D square, and six uh, minus four is two D, and nine plus two eleven. Uh, sorry. Nine minus twelve that will give you minus of three and plus of three that means zero. So d squared is plus two d is what you are getting. Operating on cos two x. I will have to write this once more. D squared plus two d operating on x and. Three times e power three x one upon d square plus two d operating on cos two x. 
take the lowest degree term out so 2e power 3x 1 upon if I take 2d out I will left with 1 plus d square by 2d so that will be d by 2 operating on x plus 3e power 3x if I take uh, this is a 2 so 2 square a square is 4 minus of 4 you put here so in place of d square put minus of 4 so minus of 4 plus 2d okay uh, what we can do here is take 2 out so next step we are moving to e power 3x and 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 uh, uh, this 2 I can cancel with this so it is gone now and 1 upon d and this calculations which is 1 plus d by 2 raised to power minus 1 operating on x plus uh, I can take 2 out so 3 by 2 e power 3x and this will now become 1 upon uh, d minus 2 so multiply and divide by d plus 2 cos 2x for cos ax you know that always replace d square by minus of a square and for x power n take the lowest degree term out uh, make 1 plus x power minus 1 or 1 minus x power minus 1 these are all the basic rules 1 upon d now 1 plus x so that will give you 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube so because here we have x so first derivative 1 and further derivatives are 0 so 1 minus x square so minus minus x 1 minus x plus x square so minus x plus x square so I will not be writing the third term because x square that means the second derivative and second derivative is going to be 0 so I will leave that operating on x plus 3 by 2 e power 3x now this is d square minus 4 in denominator so I will replace d square in denominator I have d square minus 4 so I will again replace d square by minus of 4 so minus 4 minus 4 so minus 8 will here and in numerator I will have d plus 2 operating on cos 2x here e power 3x 1 upon d means integration integration of what multiply x so x derivative of x is 1 multiplied by minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 because 1 by d simply means integration and uh, I can write this uh, minus 8 here also d of cos 2x is uh, minus sine 2x into 2 and plus 2 cos 2x some more simplifications I need so this was our last step so I am moving ahead with this integration of x is x square by 2 and uh, minus x by 2 here I have minus 3 by 16 e power 3x into uh, minus 2 sin 2x and minus 3 by 16 e power 3x into 2 cos 2x now simplification depends on you now so e power 3x into x square divided by 2 ok or it would have been better if I take e power 3x as common so as I have left with x square by 2 minus x by 2 and this will be minus minus plus uh, 
थ्री बाई एट साइन टू एक्स ओके एंड हेयर ई पार्ट थ्री एक्स इज कॉमन सो माइनस थ्री बाई एट कॉस टू एक्स ओके सो दिस इज योर पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल सो फाइनल आंसर इज सी एफ प्लस पी आई वट वॉज माई सी एफ सी वन ई पावर थ्री एक्स सी टू ई पावर एक्स सी वन ई पावर थ्री एक्स प्लस सी टू ई पावर एक्स आई थिंक द सेम थिंग यस प्लस द पी आई विच इज ई पावर थ्री एक्स एक्स स्क्वायर बाई टू माइनस एक्स बाई टू प्लस थ्री बाई एट साइन टू एक्स माइनस थ्री बाई एट कॉस टू एक्स आई होप आई हैव डन एवरीथिंग करेक्ट टिल नाउ so this was a question bit lengthy because we have to uh, do it twice but as far as concept is concerned it was easy just the calculation part was lengthy